On November 28, 2024, the Philippine Navy confirmed the presence of a Russian Kilo-class submarine, the U-Fa 490, in the contested waters of the South China Sea, situated near the Philippines' exclusive economic zone, EZ. The submarine was detected approximately 148 kilometers, 92 miles, off the coast of Occidental Mindoro, a province in the western Philippines. The Philippine Navy responded by deploying its flagship, the BRP Jose Rizal, FF-150, a guided missile frigate, to monitor the submarine's activities. Despite the UFA-490's non-hostile mission, its presence raised alarms among Philippine authorities, given the geopolitical tension surrounding the South China Sea. The Russian submarine identified itself and communicated its intention to await favorable weather conditions before proceeding to its base in Vladivostok, Russia. However, Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. expressed his concern, calling the sighting very worrisome and underlining the seriousness of any foreign presence in the Philippines' EEZ. This statement reflects ongoing anxieties regarding foreign incursions in the region, especially considering the South China Sea's strategic importance and the long-standing territorial disputes involving China, the Philippines, and other Southeast Asian nations. The incident is particularly significant in the context of the Philippines' growing concerns over China's assertiveness in the South China Sea. The region has witnessed frequent encounters between Philippine vessels and Chinese naval or coast guard ships, and the intrusion of a Russian submarine only adds complexity to an already volatile security environment. Moreover, the close military relationship between Russia and China, which includes joint naval exercises in the area, exacerbates the strategic challenges faced by the Philippines and its allies. The U-Fa 490 is a part of the Russian Kilo class of submarines, some of the most advanced and stealthy diesel-electric boats in operation today. Introduced in the 1980s, the Kilo class has been a cornerstone of the Russian Navy's submarine fleet due to its quiet operation and versatility in anti-submarine warfare, ASW, and reconnaissance missions. The U-Fa 490 is 74 meters long, 9.9 .9 meters wide, and has a draft of 6.2 meters, making it an agile and effective platform for operations in contested waters like the South China Sea. Equipped with advanced sonar systems and capable of carrying a variety of torpedoes, the UFA 490 is well suited for covert missions, with its diesel electric propulsion allowing it to operate with remarkable discretion over extended periods. The Kilo class submarine's quiet operation makes them difficult to detect, a feature that is critical in the South China Sea, where multiple military and naval powers vie for influence. While the UFA 490 did not engage in any hostile activity, its presence serves as a reminder of the evolving security dynamics in the region, where strategic interests often intersect. In response to the sighting of the UFA 490, the Philippine Navy dispatched the BRP Jose Rizal, FF-150, to monitor the Russian submarine's movements. As one of the newest and most advanced ships in the Philippine fleet, the Jose Rizal is equipped with state-of-the-art combat systems, including surface-to-air missiles, radar systems, and ASW capabilities. The frigate's advanced sonar system allows it to detect submerged threats, and its ability to deploy anti-submarine missiles and torpedoes enhances the Philippine Navy's capacity to counter underwater threats effectively. The Jose Rizal is part of a broader modernization effort within the Philippine Navy, which aims to bolster its maritime defense capabilities amidst increasing foreign military activities in the region. This enhanced capability, including cooperation with other naval assets and aircraft, enables the Philippine military to track and respond to potential threats more efficiently. The sighting of the U-Fa 490 underscores the South China Sea's critical role not only as a rich source of natural resources, but also as one of the busiest and most vital shipping routes in the world. The ongoing territorial disputes in the region, particularly involving China's expansive claims and militarization of disputed islands, have made the South China Sea a focal point of international tension. In response to these security concerns, the Philippines has sought to strengthen its defense relationships with countries like the United States, Japan, and Australia. Through joint military exercises and enhanced cooperation, the Philippines aims to modernize its naval forces, particularly in ASW, to safeguard its maritime territory from not only Chinese incursions but also foreign military presence, such as that of Russia. The Philippines' efforts to maintain vigilance over its waters are essential for ensuring the protection of its maritime rights and securing vital shipping lanes. As global geopolitical dynamics continue to shift, the Philippine government will likely continue to monitor foreign naval activities closely, adjusting its defense posture in response to emerging threats. The detection of the Russian Kilo-class submarine UFA-490 in the South China Sea serves as a stark reminder of the complex security environment surrounding the region. 
As geopolitical tensions between major powers, including China, Russia, and the United States, continue to rise, the Philippines must remain vigilant in protecting its national interests. The presence of foreign military assets, particularly in contested waters, will likely remain a key issue for the Philippines and its regional partners as they work to navigate the increasingly intricate web of international relations in the South China Sea.